Hi everyone, Magpie 307 here. Out again, doing my bit. Yep, yeah, so I've returned to this place. Uh, I don't know if you remember my last video when we came up with a, a lovely um, dagger pommel. <laughs> I had to think what the word was. And a dagger pommel just by them trees there. Um, it turned out to be Bronze Age dagger pommel. So yeah, nice find that was just for the trees there. So I'm searching this area around here again. Um, see what else we can find here. It's a lovely spot. The field drops off quite sharpish down that way. So we've been down there before. Found a nice silver down there before. Uh, an unexpected silver sixpence, I think it was. And uh, yeah, we thought we'd give this place a go again and uh, see what else comes up. Try that that little area down there next to the dingle there, the woods, and uh, see what comes up. Um, well, the Bronze Age pommel, just in that area behind the trees here, is uh, an old uh, Bronze Age settlement. So this area is known for activity from the Bronze Age people. So yeah, we'll have a gander around here, or a look around here and, and see what we can find around here. Bound to be something, the finds are far and far and, and what do you call in between. Um so far and wide between, so yeah. Might be lucky and find something nice here again. Right, I'm using the e track as you know. In all my videos, my e-track, my trusty e-track, and uh, right, let's get on with it and let's see what we can find. I'm going to head off over that way, and uh, we find found a few musket balls and things that way. But uh, as you know, you can't date musket balls very easily, and uh, well, let's hope we find something nice, something old, something we can research and uh, put a date on it. So far we've had some really good finds here, something really old. So yeah, let's go on to the next and I'll see you on the next. Alright, see you in a bit. Yeah, I've just come round the corner there, along here a little bit, and uh, come across another few holes on the way. Just had a hole here and a, and a shotty come out of that one. So far I've had a few bits of barbed wire and a little buckle. Um, not much in the way of finds yet, but uh, well, I'll keep searching <laughs> and I'll keep you updated on what I find. And um, right, let's carry on, see what else we can find here. And we have another hole and a find. <laughs> Nothing to do with Bronze Age though it is bronze. Um, I know what this is. In there should be a thread, a coarse thread. There should be a hole all the way through that. And it's called a horn protector. Uh, they used to screw these onto animals' horns. This one obviously for a, something like a goat or something like that. That size of animal. Or a, or a ram. Uh, they used to cut the tip of the horn off and used to screw these in then. As you can see that plug is coming out and they have a coarse thread inside. And if you can see that. You have a coarse thread inside and you'd screw that onto the horn. Uh, the top of the horn that would be to well, a little bit of air on the top of the horn, I imagine. But uh, you have two notches like that, which were used to tighten up the uh, horn protector. So yeah, I've found loads of these in the past. Uh, some big ones, some small ones. Yeah, so never expected to find one of these down here, but uh, here we are. It's a find. Bit of history, dating back to... Uh, early to mid mid Victorian time. So there we have it. Horn protector. Nice find. Right, let's get on to the next and uh, I'll see you on the next. Alright, see you in a bit.
yeah, just dug this hole there uh, down about six inches. I thought that was something then. So yeah, I found it wasn't a particularly great signal, but uh, yeah, found the signal. Looks like a fragment of a bullet or a or a musket ball. It's a, it's lead in material. Um, it's probably a splatter of a, a musket ball. It's very thin. Um, there's known to be loads and loads and loads of musket balls here. We used to call it the musket ball, musket field, uh, firing range, the Prussian uh, firing range, Prussian uh, firing range practice uh, field. Which way they fired from, I don't know. We can't make out from here. Um, possibly from the other side of the field, other side of the stream. There's a small stream down the bottom there, so possibly from that side. We don't know. But um, yeah, that could be a fraction of a musket ball. Yeah, a bit of lead. <laughs> All right, let's bag it. Heading over that way. See what else I can find along here. These big trees. And uh, see what else I can find. Right, let's get on to the next. Fill the hole back in. Let's get on to the next. Yeah, I didn't seem to find much up there. On the top of the bank there. I've tried all that area up there. And I decided to come back down the bottom here. Where we normally find musket balls. <laughs> and lo and behold. As you can see by the plug, plug, uh, we have a find. We have another musket ball. I, I presume it's white. Oh yeah, I uh, nicked it a bit there. Yeah, it's a dropped musket ball. And um, yeah, I just caught it there with a the shovel. So yeah, back on the musket balls. <laughs> nice to find these. We found literally hundreds of musket balls down there. There's some sort of firing range down there. Uh, a historian told us it was a Prussian army practice field. So I presume that's what these musket balls are then. Nice. What rifle they come from I have no idea. But uh, yeah, I like finding these. I wonder if there's any more. We've had actually hundreds of them down here. Hundreds of them. There was a target just behind me, just by those trees there. At one time, we could make out. Um, that's where the, most of the musket balls are impacted. Um, so they're scattered all over the place here, even on the bank over there. But there's nothing over that way, so they weren't fired from that direction. So, yeah, no idea where they fired from, but this is where they ended up. Right, let's bag that and see if we can find any more. Right, see you in a bit. I've just had a, a lovely signal there. Hope you can hear me right with the wind. Um, <laughs> this is where we find the musket balls and everything like that. And uh, as you can see, this hole is pretty deep. Uh, must be at least... <laughs> seven, eight inch, nine inches deep and uh, I've come across a coin I'm not sure what it is yet it looks like silver I'm not sure what that is oh it's a Vicky lovely it's a Vicky silver is that a bonnet? Yes, yeah, well worn. Sorry, I'm not in picture there, am I? So yeah, we have a lovely Vicky bonnet silver. Ah, the times I've been over this. Unbelievable. I can't make out that pattern on there though. That is well worn. Is that Britannia? Or is that a Gothic cross? 
I'm not sure. I've never found one of these before. This is a first for me. So this is a um, bucket list. <laughs> I thought it was a musket ball at first. <laughs> oh boy, am I happy. Vicky Silver. Lovely. Never expected to find that here. Do you know, I've, I've tried this stream loads of times and I've detected along here loads of times. It must be the moisture in the soil that's helped me today. What a beautiful coin. Wow. Right, let's not waste any more time. And let's get on to the next one. Maybe there'll be another coin. Uh, a bit later on I'm going to try and see if we can get a date off this somehow or other. It's pretty worn. If anybody recognises what that is, and if they can date it for me, that would be even better. Yeah. So I'll thank you, thank you in advance if you can date that for me. And, and uh, well, let's get on with it. Fill this hole back in. I'm going to check the hole first and I'll fill the hole back in and uh, see if we can find another. Right. See you in a bit. We have another deep hole. Just by there I found the sixpence or fourpence. It might be a fourpence, I'm not sure. But uh, the silver coin I found. And uh, just about 12 feet or so from there. We have another deep hole, about eight inches. And we have a, another musket ball. Um, this one struck something. So yeah, another musket ball. I've just hit it there with a shovel. Shame. <laughs> but uh, they're very deep down. So it's an impacted musket ball. That has hit something again, you see. And just behind me, directly behind me, about uh, 12 feet, is the target area, we presume. Um, this one obviously hit something and ricocheted off. So yeah, let's bag that and let's get on to the next. Alright, see you in a bit. Right, I thought I'd call it a day. Been here most of the day today. Um, not just down here but up there. And uh, going along the top. It's been a good day. It's been it's been nice, uh, the weather's held. And uh, yeah, sort of found the sixpence down there, <laughs> and the musket balls down that way. Yeah, so thought I'd do a bit of roundup. Um, bit of a buckle, buckle. The pin is missing. Made of bronze, gone out of shape a little bit. Just about make out where the pin was there. That's out of shape a bit. Um, shotties, I uh, found a few of these. Uh, there's two there. Bits of barbed wire. These are the barbs from the barbed wire. Yeah, so uh, two pieces of that. You get a funny, good signal, but a funny signal, if you know what I mean. Uh, this I found at the top. It's a uh, horn protector. We screws onto the horn, made of bronze, quite heavy. This is one of the smaller versions of it. They usually come a bit bigger than that. For cattle, this is for more more like a goat or a, or that sort of size, a, a ram or something like that. Yeah, two musket balls. One uh, dropped musket ball. And one impacted musket ball. It hit something, you can just about see it's hit some sort of frame or something. 
the shape of it. But yeah, two musket balls. I'm not sure what that is, part of a buckle I think. You could just about make out the square shape there and, and whatever. Yeah, part of a buckle. And uh, a fragment of a musket ball I think, or a bullet. A lead bullet. Just a bit of lead anyway. So yeah, them are my finds for today and of course not forgetting my find of the day. Not sure it's a Vicky fourpence perhaps, uh, they call it a groat. Looks like the gothic cross on the back there. But uh, I'll have a look at that in more detail. You can't see it can you, the glare on there. But uh, yeah I'll take some pics of that a bit later on and I'll put them on uh, the end of the video. And uh, maybe, hopefully, somebody can identify it for me. Yeah, so those are my finds so far today. I'm going to head off up that way now. And uh, see what else I can find. If I find anything else on the way back to the car, I'll let you know. And add it to the video. Right, I'll uh, say goodbye and I'll uh, see you on the next. Alright, ta-ra then.